We've been working for a lot of years on understanding walking and running and really capturing basic principles, understanding why animals do what they do, how they do it, interpreting that into math models and, and something we can simulate and, and write down, and then implementing that on machines. It's because you don't get to build a robot very often. It's expensive and time consuming to design a machine from the ground up. Uh, Cassie can stand. Cassie has ankles so that it can stand and balance in one place. It's not something Atreus could do. And uh, Cassie is a lot more robust. So when Cassie falls flat on its face on the ground, it's probably not going to break. So what we're trying to achieve is the versatility and the robustness and the efficiency of locomotion that we see in animals. We want to be able to design and build machines that can go anywhere that a human can go and run on about the same amount of energy. So a lot of the um, difference between our machine walking around and a lot of other robots you might see is really under the hood and you don't notice it until the robot encounters a completely unexpected disturbance and stumbles and recovers whereas the other machine might never be able to handle that sort of thing. We're thinking big in terms of having an impact with legged locomotion and having robots be able to be useful for people, integrate with society. Imagine you've got a, bur a fire in a building and the fire chief isn't really sure if somebody's still in the building. And they have to make a difficult decision about whether they're going to send one of their firefighters in because it's dangerous. But if you've got a, a robot that has the same mobility as a person, then it's a no-brainer. You send the robot in. We have spun out a company, uh, Agility Robotics, to take this technology from research at the university to market and to have a real impact and to be selling these machines and just a direct funnel from the research that we do in the laboratory straight to uh, customers. And then you might imagine a fleet of autonomous delivery trucks. On each of these trucks is a number of different robots for the appropriate applications. Maybe flying drones are appropriate for certain small deliveries. Maybe the wheeled vehicles are going to be fine for certain deliveries. And there will also be a small fleet of legged robots on each of these vehicles. You know, the vehicles drive around, drop off the robots, deliver the packages, come back to the truck. The robotics at Oregon State has been a really exciting success story. Um, it's been a combination of good timing and outstanding leadership and support from the university in terms of recognizing potential, recognizing what this program could be, and then supporting it so that the faculty who are building it can, can really move forward with it. Robotics is something that is in demand. Students recognize it as, as the future. A lot of uh, industry is, recognizes it as the future. The government is starting to recognize it as a major future field um, that our country should lead in. We should be able to be the world leader in robotics uh, as a country.